this evening. Uh, she can join us here in a few minutes when she gets here. Good evening. It's nice to see y'all. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. It really is. Uh, this is, I, I say it all the time, this is my most favorite evening activity of all the things that we do. The retiree ceremony is at the top. Uh, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's you know, an opportunity to recognize our employees and that commitment that you've made to our students uh, all those years of service. Uh, it, just, it just means everything uh, to us. And, uh, and we're, happy. we're just glad that you could be here and you could join us this evening. I know there were some other retirees who called, so they'd like to be here this evening. They had other commitments, some are on vacation or something for our family, which you can understand this time of year. They, they're not able to be with us, but um, this past year we saw 18 retirees. I mean, we've, we've had some large numbers the past few years. Uh, this, this is a large one as well. Uh, of those 18, nine professionals and uh, nine service personnel representing 532 years of service. I mean, it's just amazing to me, 532 years. Uh, several of you, uh, or several retirees, have more than 30 years of service. Uh, we have a couple uh, that have more than 40 years. Damn it, we were just talking a moment ago. 42 years, right? That's just remarkable. Just again, that, you know, the faithful service and dedication to our students, our our, our, our communities here in the county, uh, it's, it's just amazing. And of course, you know, with your retirement, we're losing some of our most experienced and skilled and valued employees. There's no question. You just don't replace that, that kind of experience that you take with you. But on behalf of the board members, just a heartfelt thank you. Uh, just greatly appreciate all that you've done for uh, our students. And all of you certainly are going to be missed. It's, it's really odd already, you know, when I was at Hamilton the other day, before, right before school was out, you know, to walk by the classroom and not see Trish, you know, <laughs> standing there at the door working with her students. Uh, it, it's just, it's different. But we congratulate you. We, we hope that you're going to be able to enjoy retirement. There comes Carol. Come on in. Uh, always refer to it as that carefree, slow paced, do what you want kind of, you know, lifestyle that you leave when you retire. I keep looking at Paris. I know he's going to be trout fishing on me. You and Bill will be wearing me out. <laughs> I may have to run my phone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we get into recognizing each one of you, uh, I'd like to take just a moment to recognize our board members who are joining us here this evening. Uh, we have uh, on my left, Larry Wilkerson, and Vice President of the Board, Fred Curry, Board President Steve Priestley, Carol Smith joins us, and uh, Rowdy Baker is on his way. He, he, had, he was still at work when he called me. And said he'd be here about 5:30, so he'll be here shortly. Uh, the central office staff that's here joining us this evening, uh, Bill Lebel, who's also retired, uh, been mentioned maybe one or two times this evening already. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this time's good, right? Three, three, third time's charm. Uh, I guess I'm better. <laughs> uh, Susie McCann, my secretary, I'm standing beside Susie, everybody knows Tina, Tina Black. Tina, this is year number 44. Yeah, they're right behind me. Right behind me. Right behind me. <laughs> so we have to blame him for it. That's right. Give him the credit. Um, Kirk King's with us, our federal programs director. Got any other staff uh, Special thank you, Sean O'Donoghue, for being here to see and for all that you do for the schools. It's greatly appreciated. 
And at that time, I'm going I'm to ask the board to step up here up front. And I'm going to ask Mr. Lindley to come up because we're going to recognize our service employees first this evening. Now, I wish we were going to give you the keys to a car or home or a nice big check or a, a, a trap vest. Uh, but we have a beautiful glass water bottle from Blinko for each one of you to take home with you this evening as a token of our appreciation. So I'll let Mr. Lindley go ahead. Okay. Thank you. You know, the first people that are student sees is a bus driver, an aide, a cook. You know, they kind of set the tone for that student that day. If that student's having a bad day, they can change it, or if they're having a good day, they can make it a bad day for that student. So they're the first one that kind of sets, sets the tone for them there. Uh, honor and privilege to, to, uh, to recognize these uh, service personnel. First is Sherry Darlene Neal. Darlene retired August 31st, 2018 after working 37 years as secretary accountant. Most of that time was in the central office as the purchasing coordinator and with the first six years at Hamlin High, at Hamlin Junior High. Darlene was very knowledgeable, believe me, you couldn't slip anything by, about the purchasing <laughs> procedures and worked with the directors and principal. She saved the county money by shopping for the best prices for materials and kept everyone informed about the budgets for schools and wore you out about P cards. <laughs> if you had a P card, you, you had to know the ins and outs. But Darlene, uh, Darlene did save the county a lot of money and also uh, she's also known for the famous Christmas uh, uh, games we play. I don't know who's going to take that place, but we did have some good times playing those games. Uh, Miss Darlene, would you please come up? And we want this to be very informal this evening. If there's anything that you want to say, you're welcome to. Or if anyone's got any, anything they'd like to share, any stories, you're welcome to do so. I've been doing work in here. It, it really has been a blessing. And everybody's more like family. I know all of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I miss you all. Steve's my teacher. <laughs> well, he had a crush on him growing up. <laughs> that was just the thing. That was a long time ago. It was. Many, many years. <laughs> Three, two, one. Thank you. The next person is not here, but we'll go ahead and read and give them the honor is uh, Cynthia Adkins. Cynthia Adkins retired August the 6th, 2019. After 36 years working as a, an aide, Cindy worked 18 of those years at Guy Valley and most of the rest at West Ham. Her many years of service allowed her many experience, which allowed her many experience, which helped her deal with various situations that occur with children, and used and she used good judgment. She was always courteous to all, accepted responsibility for her duties, and performed them without issues. She will still be substituted. I can remember Cindy being involved with Special Olympics when we used to take the basketball teams and traveling with those kids and, and, and really, really enjoyed being with them. The next one is Angie Pritchard. Angie retired October 31st, 2018 with 32 years experience. She started at Hearts High School in 1986. She worked 19 of those years at the central office, mostly as a food service coordinator. She always demonstrated professional and positive demeanor. She took great pride in her work and was trustworthy and a loyal employee and was a wonderful asset to our school system. She made sure the food was out there and the menus. As a new food service director found out, you better get them menus out there the first of the month or <laughs> you're going to get caught. He only made that mistake once. <laughs> he knew how important that was. This next person, Janet Cyrus. Janet Cyrus retired October 31st, 2018 after working 20 years as an aide. Janet done all that was asked of her plus more. She had the interest of students and her primary goal was her primary goal and, very, and she had very good judgment. Janet, uh, I worked with her, some others in here worked with her. 
whatever you needed done, she did it. It wasn't, that's not my job, that's not I, this. You know, if it was going over here to do this, if it wasn't in her area, she, she was always a blessing to, to work with. Olita Sites, Olita, uh, retired June 30th, 2019. After working, after seven years working as a cook in Lincoln County Schools, she was very dependable and had very good attendance. She was flexible and able to adapt to change easily. She completed all records actively and maintained good documentation. She has signed up to be a substitute. She was a cook three and had to maintain all those books and records. And you know, I, I, I was telling one of them uh, today. You know, when I first started. Uh, teachers just took her tray and walked in the kitchen where the pots of food were, you just filled your tray. <laughs> you can't hardly do that now. <laughs> you gotta keep on that. Okay, next one is Doug Skeens. Doug Skeens retired April the 30th, 2019, after working 30 years for the school system driving a school bus. He had several extracurricular duty assignments, extended school year, extended school year bus operator during the month of July for several years. Several years as after school bus operator, PK, CTE bus operator, groundsman, painter. Doug, Doug had an excellent attendance and always kept his bus in tip top shape. Miss Nancy McAllister. Miss Nancy retired June the 30th, 2019, after driving the bus for 35 years. She also had several extracurricular duty assignment contracts, student assistant, uh, JRTC program, bus operator, after school activities, summer school, critical skills, uh, operator, 21st century program, credit recovery, PK, CTE bus operator, ALC lunch delivery run. Uh, she had excellent attendance. That's the reason she got all them jobs. But she, did, uh, she, she done a good job inspecting and I always kept her bus clean. And, and I will say this about Nancy. We always had transportation directors. But a lot of times when a bus driver wasn't doing what they're supposed to do, it didn't take a transportation director to straighten them out. <laughs> Nancy, when Nancy talked to them, it usually went a lot farther than their supervisor talking to them. <laughs> and, is that right, Nancy? They respected me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to truly miss you, Nancy, for, for, for all those reasons and for those reasons that you took care of no one knew about. <laughs> Bill, if I might reflect one thing about Nancy. Several years ago, we had a bus driver that was critically ill, and he was going to have to have a kidney transplant. And he came to me at the beginning of the year and he said, when I get a page, I've got two hours to get to the hospital. He said, what if I'm on the bus? I said, we'll take care of it. He said, but I said, we'll take care of it. So I didn't go to the superintendent or the assistant. I went to Nancy. I made the call. I said, Nancy, here's our situation. What are we going to do? She said, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. I said, okay. She rounded her drivers up in that area. She called me back. She said, he'll be there. She said, it'll be covered. I said, what are you going to do? She said, don't ask me. I'm just going to be taken care of. And we didn't have to do that, but if we had, I'm certain that Nancy would have taken care of it. When I get on the radio in the evening, if there has been a bus accident, a lost child, or any emergency out there, I can guarantee that the first one calling me back will be Nancy. Where do you need me? What do you need me to do? And do I need to do anything else? She will be greatly missed on the other end of that radio. Amen. <coughs> I love all my children. Sometimes we didn't know what we knew when we were saying. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs>
It wasn't me, no kidding. We knew you was doing right. That's right, I'll take them home anyway. <laughs> and next is Genevieve Runyon. Genevieve retired June the 30th, 2019, after working as an aide for eight years. She started as a PK special needs aide in September 2011 and handled PK aid. She transferred to a tender special aid in 2012 and started her day at Guy Valley. She performed all duties assigned and followed safety practices. She was always on time. She was always positive and courteous to staff, parents, and students. That didn't sound like her bar. June 30, 2019, after working 35 years as an aide at Hamlin and West Hamlin Elementary, mostly at West Hamlin. She started in 1983 at West Hamlin Elementary, finished her career at West Hamlin Elementary June 30, 2019. PJ was a true team player, always smiling and easy to work with. Her love of children was very evident in her service. I had the opportunity, she was my aide when I was a special ed teacher. And the funniest thing was, when she got transferred, no, and she knew she was going to get back to that school. So she came to the board meeting and she said, you know, it pays the same to hose it does to plow. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I see her, that's what I say to with PJ. So, but uh, thank you for all those years of service and all that, all that you did. Let's recognize our professional employees who retired this past year. And we'll begin with uh, Trish Gaines. But I spoke to Trish out there in the hallway. She's telling me how much she's enjoying her retirement already. <laughs> she retired December 31st, so you've had some time to kind of get used to this retirement. Right? Hello? Yeah, but did you ask Mike how much he's <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> 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 Looking for a job. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, I've learned some things when you go back in the personnel file. You look to see where people began their careers and some of the moves they've made. Uh, you know, because I, I don't those are things you don't always know. And uh, something I've learned with uh, Trish is that she, uh, of course, had, had worked for the school system for 27 and a half years. Is that 27 and a half years special education teacher, and you started your career at Pleasant View Elementary, which I thought was neat. Uh, was there for five years. And then transferred to Avery <coughs> Elementary. And you were there for four or five years um, before moving to West Hamlin Elementary, which I can recall you being at West Hamlin. You were there for seven years. Yeah. And then went to uh, Hamlin and was there roughly 10 years. Uh, always enjoy being in your classroom. Thank you. Uh, yes, you did a great job with your students and uh, had a wonderful understanding. Uh, the unique characteristics and needs of your kids. Uh, and you're definitely going to be greatly missed out there. Already you are. Uh, like I said, I, it's odd for me to walk through that building over there and not see you there by side of the, the office space there. But uh, if you'll come up. Congratulations. Thank you. I guess I'm supposed to say 
my block. That's perfect. Three, two, one. Yeah. 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 81, 82 school years, somewhere in that, that time frame. Um, he did spend some time in Boone County. He was assistant principal and principal in Boone County at Van High School for a while. Before he returned to us in 2007 as his assistant principal at Lincoln County High School. Uh, he was over there at the high school for five years and then uh, was tra transferred, was hired into the transportation director uh, position here in 2011. And he remained in that position until he retired this past month. Rod was involved in a lot of extracurricular activities and assignments during his career. He served for a long time as athletic trainer, football coach, golf coach. Um, I didn't know he helped with basketball. I thought like one time he was assistant junior high basketball coach. And also coach track. Uh, Rod was uh, very helpful. Uh, cooperative, whatever you needed, you know, he was one of those you could go to and, and ask him for his help, and he'd, he'd jump in there, whatever it was. Uh, so, uh, Rod Cummings. Paris Brown. 36 years. Uh, began his career, I want to make sure this is right, and correct me if I'm wrong. At Midkiff and Ranger? Split your time between those yeah. schools? Uh, and that was in 1983. That's when I started in 83. Actually, I started with the adaptive visit. And then I went to Ranger Weekend. And I was hired as adaptive visit teacher. Adaptive visit. Especially when I was. Scott should remember that. Yeah, probably should remember that. Transferred to Hamlin High School in 1989 90 to be the driver's education teacher. Right. Uh, remained there until going back into the physical education position at Midway Elementary in 2000, 2001 school year. And remained at Midway Elementary all this time until his retirement this past month. Uh, Harris worked in several extracurricular activities, assignments as well, uh, serving as a basketball, football coach, worked in after school over Midway for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Great with kids. Uh, it was wonderful uh, how you were able to interact and, and, and teach the students. I always enjoyed coming into the commons area over there or outside and you had them on the out on the basketball court or on the playground. Uh, but you certainly understood the kids and, and their needs and, uh, and you adjusted you know, based upon what was best for those kids. Uh, always willing to help when needed and just a true asset to. Uh, the school system and definitely going to be missed in Midway. Uh, it's coming about. If you'll come up. He was a tra uh, traffic coordinator also. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> Actually, a funny story, but I think I better yeah, not tell. Steve almost got me whipped. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Susan Mishler, she retired June the 30th. Susan, she began her teaching career at Duval High School in 1983 and transferred to Hearts High School the next year where she remained and taught English for 16 years. And then she transferred to Hamilton High School and taught for another four and a half years before she transferred into an interventionist position at Duval. Susan encouraged, acknowledged individual students' accomplishments, appropriate behaviors, and accommodated 
but all their individual learning differences. First time I met Susan, she was working for the Lincoln Journal. There you go. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, I was in high school. No problem vocation. Yeah. Let's work for the school system. But I didn't know if you knew was aware of that or not. But she she uh, was a reporter back, back in the sports. I've seen the name. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Susan. Dr. Randy Peters. <laughs> <laughs> Right, if I keep saying it, people will believe it, right? That's right. Yeah. Dr. Peters. Randy also retired June the 30th after a total of 40 years, 41 years of experience, including eight years, sorry, you were out of state, and 13 years that you weren't in the county. I guess you worked somewhere else in the other places. Uh, all teaching music all those years, and of course retired um, at Midway. How long were you at Midway? 19 years. 19 years. Uh, Randy worked very hard with his students to, sh to ensure that their performances were meaningful, and, and they were just awesome, and he did such a great job with those kids. I always enjoyed the performances, the LSIC presentations, when the kids would perform for the board, the staff, it was very enjoyable. And, uh, your work and your influence in the community, very midway, uh, you know, just such a just such a positive influence uh, on the students, the staff, the members of the community. A valuable asset, no doubt. Key member of the faculty and the staff from there, and, and Randy, you, you're going to be great. Come on up. He was the principal hey, also there for a while. Yeah, for a while. Yeah, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to wipe that off his memory. Congratulations, Dr. Peters. Thank you. Thank you. Would you stay to do wrong when I was here? I wanted to. Exactly. I wanted to. I wanted to. Congratulations, Randy. Thank you. We are truly thankful. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget. It. Never forget. It. Congratulations, Betty. Three, two, one. Thank you. Mrs. Deborah Ford retired June the 30th after 42 years in the highest room. Interesting. I, you started your career at Woodfield yes. Elementary. In the old building up on the hill. In the old building. <laughs> and then transferred from Woodville to Pleasant View Elementary, 1986 mm -hmm. 87, where you were a fourth grade teacher? Yes. Is that right? And transferred to West Sandville Elementary in 2000 2001 school year, where you remained until you retired this past, this mm -hmm. past month. Yes, she never did get out of the <laughs> Debbie's another classroom I just always enjoyed. As you know, every time I was visiting West Samuel, I always stuck my head in the door and said hello. I was hoping to catch man places yeah. going on, right? We yeah. both like man. Yes, we do. And uh, your, your, your strategies that you use with the students, the learning that I saw, the problem solving, you know, were just all the things that uh, a, a good math teacher, teacher at campus, yeah. and, and it was enjoyable. I love coming in and, and being part of the lesson. I'm going to miss teaching math. Uh, are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> We're looking for math teachers. <laughs> but so organized, and your lessons were so well thought out and designed. It was just, you know, uh, just a, a great learning environment. Uh, again, uh, it's not, it's not going to be the same if you're not being over there. Visits won't be the same when I'm there. And maybe certainly will be greatly missed. So if you will come up. Mr. Meekins, I'd like to share a story about Go ahead, Mr. Oh, oh, yeah. If you had something to say. Uh, this, is, this is very positive. Uh, as, as a young principal, I was challenged by a parent who had, I had assigned 
child to this fourth class, and the parent came in and said, I want you to move my child out of that teacher's classroom. She's too strict. <laughs> and I had a, that was one of those stand up and, and deliver times. And I told the, the, the young parent that I wasn't going to change. And she said, well, I'll just take my child to Salt Rock. And I said, well, man, that, that's, that's your prerogative. I said, but I'd really like for you to give it at least nine weeks. At the end of the nine weeks, the parent came back to me and she said, that's the best thing you ever did was to tell me no, because Mrs. Horton's got my daughter moving in the right direction. At the end of the year, I received a thank you card and a gift card from that parent because that child went from an introvert to an extrovert due to the fact of that lady standing in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. She made a difference in the child's life. That's what we're all about. Thank you, Congratulations. Take a picture. Right? Yes, that's right. One thing I do want to say is that back when I was at Woodhill years ago, I was I was the coach of the, the county winning basketball team. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Something else I didn't know. Basketball. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. D. Uh, D. 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 Retired June the 30th after 22 years in classroom. She worked at Pleasant View Elementary, which I, I didn't know that, and she was at Farrellsburg for a while. Uh, and before transferring to Hamlin, which I, I recall her being at Hamlin. And then in 2009-2010, transferred to West Hamlin Elementary, where she remained until she retired this past month. Uh, D. D was fifth grade teacher at West Hamlin. And I, she's, I always enjoyed being in her classroom as well. Uh, Michelle DeJarnett, uh, Ms. DeJarnett retired June 28, 2019, after three years in our county. She had retired earlier as a classroom teacher in Logan County. Uh, so she taught music and arts for the past three years. She was, she was someone that was always punctual, rarely ever missed work, uh, was very courteous professional and how she went about her, her job with staff and with students. Dana Snyder, speaking of, you think you know someone, you know? Um, I'm going through all these extracurricular activities and you were into something I didn't know. For, you want to just have to help me. <laughs> what could it be? Right? It's such a long list, you know? That's the one. I do that. I know how it works. Uh, Thirty years, Dana. Thirty years. Um, Dana's retiring uh, as you know, as principal in Lincoln County High School. Thirteen years. I guess one of those. One of those years. We, the building's been. We've been in in the building for thirteen years. You've been there for twelve years. Thirteen. Right. Eleven. Eleven. You were here as special education director, director for a while. Special projects. Special projects. Um, started your career at Duval, 1989-90. This part I'm a little fuzzy on. You may have to help me. 2001-2002 uh, school year. Were you first hired as the assistant principal, or was you hired as the principal? Dean of students. Dean of students. Okay. And you served in that capacity for a short while period of time and then Susan became the assistant and then the next step was yes. principal. Yes. Right. Okay. It was kind of hard to follow the timeline. Uh, um, and then in 2004, 2005 was hired as the vocational director. Because I can remember you working here and being just across the hallway. Uh, I guess in the office that Kirk now. Um, <clears throat> lots of hats Dan was born. I, of course, I, I first met Dan when I was a classroom teacher and was coaching football in England. It was the first time I met you. That seems like that was yesterday. Dan and had a multitude of extra duty assignments. I, junior high assistant, he was a football coach, Transitionally, as on, I, I, just, I forgot about those days. And that, you know, that seems like that was just yesterday, too. About that. 
junior high football coach, I just mentioned that's where I first met you, case manager for special education, compliance case manager, a resiliency coordinator uh, for boys group, a job coach, served as varsity football coach, football, uh, after school teacher, mentor teacher, Saturday school teacher, safe and drug free schools facilitator, coach basketball. And uh, that's right, yeah, I thought about that. And even served as a junior high cheerleading sponsor in 1990. <laughs> it is, it definitely won't be the same. Not the high school I mean, I've had several discussions as you talked to me about retirement. Uh, appreciate all that you've done. Uh, like I said, 11 to 13 years. School. So, I'll ask you, I'll just come on up here. Just come on up here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him over here. Congratulations. And when he started, he had hair. <laughs> well, he did have hair. Uh, I wouldn't want to go there. Yeah, but he had hair. <laughs> she, she had to do it, didn't she? <laughs> Congratulations to all of our professional employees. <laughs> Mr. Priestley? Yes, sir. Do you have some, yeah, you know, like to say board members? Do you want to go up and stay or you can sit down? Go up and sit down. You don't have to sit down. I just didn't have a problem. <laughs> No, I don't want to, uh, just, you know, what was it, 535 years? Yeah. 535 years of service. I mean, that's just uh, hard to fathom sometimes. But uh, and so many of you, I uh, think back and have worked with you in different capacities. Like Charlene said, I'm her uh, sixth grade teacher at Hamlin out here. That was a long time ago. And then others, you know, would be through the board office or as a principal. So, you know, I've worked with you in many, many ways know a lot of you and uh, you know, different experiences we've all had. I know how dedicated uh, you are to, uh, as a whole. Uh, you know, I just uh, thank you for all your service to our kids. You know, we uh, can't do anything without what you do. So uh, I'm sure I'll see you now. If uh, Mr. Pays hasn't already approached you to remind you of your retiree, now we'd like to see you become a uh, member of our uh, local retiree uh, association that we're affiliated with. And, uh, we, we'd certainly like for you to come out. It gives you the opportunity to see some people that maybe you haven't seen for a while and have been pushing to do different activities uh, that are related to retirees and try to help out. But once again, uh, enjoy your retirement. Uh, Mr. Meekip made a comment about all this leisure and the activity and going to crowd vision. It's not all like that. Um, <laughs> some of it is. Now, you get to do, you get, every now and then you get to do some of that. Go play golf or whatever you can like to do. But you're going to also do a lot of other stuff. You're going to have errands that they work to do. And you're going to do a lot of doctor work, aren't you? Great. You're going to find out, well, i got to go here tomorrow and then the next day I'm going to go to this doctor. So you got to spend that in your schedule. But anyway, I, once again, on behalf of all of our kids and all of us here, uh, we thank you for what you've done. Thank you. Now we'd ask that you please stay and join us for a meal. Susie and, and Tina, they've been working so hard today to get everything all ready for us. Well, are we ready to go, Tina? So please stay and join us. And again, congratulations. And, and hope you won't be strangers that you'll come and see us. Just come on out and call what we do.